How's it going everybody? This is Luke Brady with Bell Helmets and I'm going to take you through the new Moto 9 S Flex. So as we roll into the outside of the shell, one of the primary changes from last year to this year is going to be we have a full fiberglass composite shell where the previous generation had a 3K carbon overlay. We've eliminated the carbon overlay and we're using a tri-matrix composite which is fiberglass, carbon, and Kevlar. But now that we've covered the difference in the shells between the Moto 9 S Flex and the original Moto 9 Flex, I'd also like to point out with the change in shell, we're still getting that Snell 2020 certification as well as DOT. You can see we've got huge ventilation portals cut out in the back as well as in the front and what you'll notice across the majority of our motocross line is we're going to use a flying bridge visor system and what that flying bridge visor system does is it eliminates the center contact point. So in the case of an accident and you were to hit this visor it's not going to transfer all of that energy straight through the middle of the visor straight through the center of the helmet. So we're going to try to mitigate those forces and move them to the outside of the helmet. So you'll notice across our entire line we're going to use that flying bridge visor system so there's only two center contact points. Now you also notice in the flying bridge visor system that as we get into it, there's actually a toolless visor screw here. So if you just flip that out, you don't have any tools or need any tools to utilize the visor screw. And there's a set pin behind the visor screw. So if you were to take a really big uh, impact to this visor, the set pins are actually going to break off and those set pins will move entirely forward or entirely backwards. So we've got visor impact mitigation using that flying bridge visor system so there's no center contact point here. What that also does is we get more airflow over the top of the helmet. And the more airflow you can get over the top of the helmet, the bigger of a venturi effect or negative air pressure you can get behind the helmet. So it allows us to draw much more air out of the helmet when we can get that smooth airflow and that venturi over the top of the helmet. So as we move to the interior of the helmet, I'd like to point out our MERS system, which is Magnetic Emergency Release System. And what that is, if you were to get into a serious accident, it allows the EMTs to be able to pull these cheek pads out the bottom of the helmet. Now they're magnetic, so you don't have to worry about any snaps breaking, you don't have to worry about any defects to the helmet because they're just gonna slide right in and out. So it makes it super easy to clean your liner after a long day on the trails or a long day of motos. Now as you look closer at the liner, you're actually gonna see that there's silver thread that's threaded through this fabric. That is called ecstatic XT2. Now one of the properties of silver is that it kills bacteria. So the nice part about ecstatic XT2 is you never have to worry about your antimicrobial or antibacterial properties wearing out of the helmet. So whereas you, if you spray treat or dip treat a liner, it's gonna wear out over time. This is actually threaded fully through the fa fabric so you don't have to worry about it dissipating over time. Now that's on the cheek pads as well as the top liner and also the chin strap covers. So the chin strap covers are removable. If you wanna take those off and wash them, you can do that just as you would as any other piece of the liner. So if you ride a lot of motos or you ride it a lot, you know that the worst part or the worst smelling part of the helmet is always the chin straps. So the nice part about this is you can remove those chin strap covers as well as the full liner, take them out, wash them, let them air dry, throw them back in the helmet and you're good to go. All right, so now that we have the inside of the helmet liner removed, I'd like to point out how ventilated and how free flowing the liner fits into the flex system. So we're able to push a ton of air through this helmet. All right, as we move into the unique feature of this helmet, which is our Bell Flex system. This Flex system uses three independent materials to manage specific speeds of impact. Now you have EPP, expanded polypropylene, EPO, expanded polyolefin, and EPS, expanded polystyrene. Now each one of those materials is designed to mitigate a specific speed of impact. So you've got slow speed, mid speed, and high speed. Now, when you're talking about rotational energy management, flex system, the flex system is unique to us and that each segment is designed to rotate and move independently. So it's how each system is held together with a set of tethers which are going to move independently or mitigate that rotational energy in addition to the three layers of impact protection material and the rotational energy management. You also have increased ventilation because we've segmented so many pieces of the EPP, EPO, and EPS. You also have an adaptive fit because we're using softer materials and we're allowing the materials to shift within the helmet. You get an adaptive fit. So it's a much more comfortable product at the end of the day. Now you will notice inside this helmet it, it is also eject ready so if you are running at a higher level and are required to use an eject or a hats off device this will fully take that device and you don't have to modify your EPP or your EPO or your EPS actually you just pull this tab right out and you can drop the system right into the top of the helmet so there's no modification necessary all right now that we've covered the outside new features of the helmet and the traditional inside features of the helmet if you have any other questions or need anything answered reach out to us at bellhelmets.com